Hi everyone and welcome to the podcast Under the Stairs. I'm Duncan McLeish and today we are taking a very special look at a brand new Blu-ray release. This came out on the 12th of December and it is the Vault 001 release of Blade Runner. This is the final cut. A beautiful uh, top shelf package. I call it a top shelf package because ain't getting in one of those standard ones. This one, uh, Pride of Place up at the top. But yeah, what we're going to do is we are going to take a little look inside the box, see what there is, uh, what you get for this collectible version of it. The release that was sent through to me to review is the 4K UHD. It did also come as a more standard Blu-ray release as well. So we're going to cut away. You're going to see some of what's inside this. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be back uh, to chat a little bit more about the movie after we check out the box's content. The Film Vault is launching this December a brand new collector's range featuring titles from across Warner Brothers Discovery and Universal Pictures catalogues with four highly collectible and beautifully packaged titles on Ultra 4K HD. Blade Runner, Goodfellas, Scarface and 1917. In the Blade Runner set that we're reviewing, you will get premium collectible individually numbered crystal display plaques, Branded envelope containing large format art cards featuring concept drawings, behind the scenes imagery, film trivia and the original theatrical poster artwork. A CD sized digipack with slipcover housing a 4K Ultra HD and a blurry copy of the film. In world artifact, A3 spinner vehicle blueprint. All four sets are released on the 12th of December 2022. So yeah, that's what was inside the box, but let's talk a little bit more about the release itself. Now once you get through it all, you come across this Digibox version, and inside here we get a little bit more details about the actual movie itself proper, a little bit of background into it, and two copies of the movie, the 4K UHD and the Blu-ray release are both in this collection. Now, I'm a big fan of Blade Runner, uh, the final cut is... I mean, for all intents and purposes, what is described as the final cut. It's a movie that we've spoken about recently on other shows that I do, um, on Where to Begin With over on the Teapots Collective, but the movie itself, it has its flaws, it has its naysayers. You know, some people out there think it's a very long, tedious movie in which not a lot happens, but you could argue, and I would argue, that Ridley Scott puts forward his prediction of this kind of weird corporate uh, future, this kind of neon <laughs> landscape, uh, which will be dominated by these massive corporations. And that has had an impact on science fiction cinema since. His inclusion of the, the, the kind of noir-esque tropes of the private detective being pulled back in to solve one more case um, are all kind of cliches, but feel refreshing and vibrant in a kind of futuristic set, in a kind of sci-fi dystopian, if you want to use that term. Um, the movie itself has went through several cuts, which is why it's kind of exciting to have the final cut in this 4K UHD. You're never going to see this movie look any better. The, the, the render on it alone makes it feel like a movie that was shot in the last few years. It's absolutely stunning and it's a credit to the filmmakers and the craft behind the release itself back in 1982 um, when they were bringing together something that was very very much still grounded in the idea of practical effects. So we have miniatures being used. There's some digital technology here to remove strings for sure. But what you see on the screen has been created using good old-fashioned cinema techniques and special effects and it stands up through scrutiny through these reissues re-renders and remasters throughout time there are so many releases of Blade Runner you might be thinking to yourself well I've got it already why would I buy it again 
And whilst I can't guarantee with any degree of certainty or even at 100% that this is the last time there will be a definitive 4K release, 8K is on its way, will it ever get an 8K release? I can say with a degree of certainty in the physical media format that this is probably as good as it's ever going to get. So if you've been one of these people that has held off because of the daunting nature of the many releases of the the, the movie through its different iterations, and you, you were wondering when the best time it was to pick it up, it'd probably be on this one, even if you don't get the collector's set, I would say the 4K UHD render is about as good as the movie will ever look. It removes a lot of the... the dubious choices in the theatrical cut, whether that's Harrison Ford's less than enthusiastic narration, um, also takes into account some of the, and there's no easy way to say this, fuckery that Ridley Scott has done in the movie since in terms of um, re-evaluating, I think is a safe way to say, uh, approaching it with the, the, the George Lucas glasses where you feel the need to revisit something that was fine, but start to add more of what you always considered was the original concept of the movie, which we know probably wasn't, and it's ideas that come to you many years after, or you read an article, or a, th a fan theory online, because there's loads of them. Ultimately though, this is a great release, it's one of those ones that's designed for collectors, and we get a lot of different collector's editions. I own a lot of different collector's editions of movies where you kind of feel, do we need the effort spent on this particular director, this particular release? You know, every movie will have that one person who is its diehard fan and champion. But movies like Blade Runner are, are deserving of the time, the energy and the quality put in for sure. So it's a fantastic package. Um, Fetch PR are the ones that sent it through to me just before Christmas and I've been able to gorge myself over the holiday period checking it out so it's a great set and they're running a set of different movies um, that are available I think Scarface is in there as well so if you were looking for those definitive collections those big box sets to sit on top of your your collections to make your friends jealous and also make your cinephile buddies think you know this guy's kind of cool then, you know, this is probably the one for you. So thanks very much to Fetch for sending this through. I'm very much looking forward to seeing what the other vault releases are actually going to look like. And I know that the there'll be other people out there that got different box sets. I'm looking forward to hearing what those guys checked out as well. Remember, you can check out podcasts under the stairs at tputzcast.com or follow the podcast on the links in the description bar as well as links to get this product and more information on the Vault series as well. Thank you very much for your time. Please take care of yourselves out there on the internet. And until the next time I speak to you, bye everyone.